As a show, CES is rife with innovation, but this year, robot vacuums stole the show for me. I've been testing and reporting on robot vacuums for years, and I can safely say that this stands to be the most exciting new way of robot vacuum technology in a long time. Till now, the focus has been on some decidedly unsexy developments like obstacle detection and avoidance, mopping hardware and navigation technology, but things are getting weird now and I love it. Here are some of the key trends from CES 2025 and who came out on top. The single most exciting trend from the show was that robot vacuums have limbs, namely the one-armed Roborock Saros Z70 and the step-climbing Dreamy X50 Ultra. The Saros Z70 took the crown for me, winning our award on Tech Radar for the best robot vacuum at CES for its retractable robot arm. With the power of AI and obstacle detection, the Z70 can not only find and identify obstacles around your home, but also collect items weighing up to 300 grams or 10.5 ounces. So that's socks, toys, things like that, which it can then safely deposit in an assigned area to allow for fuller coverage clean of your flooring. There's a camera on the arm to help it with fine motor movements, but this also doubles as a secondary camera for home monitoring, allowing you to get a higher angle view by manually controlling the arm remotely. Still, Dreamy deserves a more than honorable mention for demonstrating its own robotics prowess. In addition to showing off its own concept robot vacuum with a modular arm, which Dreamy claims will be able to lift items up to 500 grams or 17 ounces, the brand also introduced the Dreamy X50 Ultra, a robot vacuum with retractable legs that allows it to climb steps up to six centimeters or two inches. While demos of this were pretty spotty throughout the event, it did work long enough for me to catch it in action, and I was pretty impressed by its hop and pivot technique, though it does make an almighty thunk sound as it traverses back down steps. In reality, this is an iteration on existing retractable wheel-based clearance hardware, with brands like Eureka demonstrating similar technology in its J15 model at the show. I'll be intrigued to see how well these models can differentiate between dangerous ledges and manageable ones on test, so stay tuned to hear more about that. A perennial problem facing robot vacuums is their ability to navigate underneath furniture. Not only do you have to consider the main chassis height, but also many models use top mounted LiDAR sensors, which can add anything up to four centimeters to the height. This year at CES, a number of robot vacuum brands demonstrated their workarounds. Models like the aforementioned Dreamy X50 Ultra, as well as the Mova V50 Ultra and Roborock Saros 10 all sport retractable LiDAR scanners, while the Ecovacs D-Bot X8 Pro Omni opts for embedded LiDAR sensors without a periscope. This shift allows the devices to squeeze into even tighter spaces, but my primary concern here is that this instantly negates the benefit of LiDAR, the ability to detect obstacles even in low light conditions thanks to its infrared lasers. So I'm excited to test some of these devices in the months ahead and see how well they can detect things underneath your sofa while navigating there. Combination robot vacuum and mops have been a big focus for manufacturers in recent years, with everything from rondelle mops to static pads featuring in a range of models. Now the focus seems to be shifting towards roller mops, with vacuums like the Narwhal Flow demonstrating this at CES. The Flow's fabric-covered roller constantly rotates and is soaked with clean water by its onboard water tank, while dirty water is fed into a separate water tank, meaning the robot vacuum cleans itself on the go instead of once it returns to the docking station. It offers wood floor management and edge cleaning by jutting the roller mop to the side when needed. Plus, it's compatible with Narwhal's automatic water exchange module, which allows you to plumb Narwhal robot vacuums for automated clean and dirty water management. Now, I have to give an honorable mention to Eco Vax's D-Bot X8 Pro Omni, which partners with vacuum-focused sister brand Tinco to improve its mopping prowess. Much like the Dreamy X50 Ultra, it features an on-the-go self-washing mop. Though it didn't pick up a robotic arm like the Roborock Saros Z70, the D-Bot X8 Pro Omni did learn some cool new mopping techniques. Elsewhere, more iterative updates appeared in models like the Eureka J15, which now offers improved transparent spill detection and cleaning, thanks to its dual camera system, which uses both an infrared camera and a full HD camera to create 3D images of your floor. So those are the headlines, but what does this actually mean for robot vacuums going forwards? In my expert opinion, anything that requires a motor function means that there is added room for error and failure. 
even in today's increasingly effective robotics, I've seen countless costly robot vacuums with jammed appendages or Robovac suffering from fatal injuries due to navigation miscalculation. And nobody wants that from a next generation device, which is likely to cost even more than the devices available in the market today. Whether it's an arm, a leg, or a retractable sensor, I'm a little concerned that this next wave of robot vacuums are certainly more flashy, but they're not so functional. Still, it's super exciting to see these advances, and competition drives innovation, so hopefully the robot vacuums I saw at CES 2025 are just the first step in improving automated home cleaning. So, which robot vacuum were you most interested in from CES? Let us know in the comments below, and check out techradar.com for our recommendations on the best robot vacuums available today.